be this week i'm living out my best childhood fantasy i'm feeling like a pink power ranger honey i always wanted to be the pink power ranger let's just get into these readings honey hey girl <laughs> my pink power ranger power is just too much for the singing ball <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Capricorn. Uh, if you find some cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do, Capricorn, and how they do, because that's how we keep up with y'all through the comments. Uh, and as well, Capricorn, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you because it does support out, it does support my tarot channel a lot, Capricorn, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Uh, and then before we get into this reading, Capricorn, I want to say that I don't feel like this weekly general reading for you, Capricorn, or any reading for that matter, should be making a, uh, should be making a decision in your life because I feel like it's your life to live, Capricorn, not mine, not <laughs> not these tarot cards, not nobody's, right? No tarot reader that you receive a reading from. It's your life to live, not ours. And so you have to be the one that lives with the decisions that you make in your life. I feel like tarot cards should be here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider but that's all. Um, so with all that being said, Capricorn, let's just get into your weekly general tarot reading this week. So um, the energy that you want to be exuding this week or that you're um, um, going towards this week that you kind of want to work towards, I suppose, the object, you know, I would say like the quest card, like the objective, right? Uh, Three of Swords. So this is normally like a card of pain, but this is the sense of where Capricorn, you need to release something. You need to release the pain attached to something. Um, and this sounds extremely dismissive, right? Um, right? Maybe you've been going through like a struggle or maybe, uh, how do I put this? I guess the way I would, I'll do, I'll say this how I would process this if it, this was for myself, Capricorn. If I saw this, I would be like, oh, okay. So let me look at the situations that I have some type of, I harbor some type of negative feeling towards, some type of ill will, some type of just pain associated with it. You know, let me see what, what it is that I need to practice forgiveness in my, if there's something I need to forgive in my life, um, whether it's other people or myself, or whether this is just a situation of being like picking myself up and like, you know, I fell off that horse, right? But you keep on going. You keep on pushing yourself, uh, Capricorn. This is one of those things where it's just like you don't want to make something your identity. If you're experiencing like a lot of anxiety, which I do suspect some of you guys are, um, Capricorn, you're experiencing some anxiety um, in regards to just, it does seem to be just like life in general. Um, let's see like what, like, let's see like, you guess more so like, let's not associate something with pain anymore and let's associate it more so as like a stepping stone in your life or a chapter in your life rather than it being something that just is out to get you let's uh, let's see if we can adopt a better mindset with something like that right because queen of air is the back of the deck energy objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation notice there's no no word here that says forgiveness necessarily but it's just clearing away things that are just no longer serving you being stuff that that is just painful right um you're just like waking up one day it's like waking up and then just making the decision capricorn to be like you know what I'm done harboring and done thinking about this situation anymore. I'm done thinking about like the what is, could have, could have, what have, should have, you know, of the, of your life, right? That's probably what this is talking about. Thinking about like you constantly having like the what have, could have, should have with the situation or with the person. Um, and yeah, I feel like you kind of need to, uh, this is a week for some of you Capricorns just to get back into alignment with, with your life and just with your path itself. You know, reminding yourself what it is that you have been working so hard on, Capricorn, because the star card comes in, coming in, comes in as where it's just like, you know, kind of just picking yourself back up and just going back on that horse. Yeah, you fell on that horse um, once before, Capricorn, but that doesn't mean that you don't go back on that horse ever again, right? This is kind of definitely like a sense of doing some shadow work, Capricorn, doing some shadow work and just really being like asking the question with yourself of being like why do you why do you why do you associate with this situation with, with so much pain like why is this why is some situation taking so much energy out of your life every single day right 
Because I feel like this is something that's not just like a once a day, like once every few days or something. This is something that constantly is harboring your thoughts. You probably came into this reading thinking thinking about it just beforehand, Capricorn. Because with this Nine of Swords, this is like that card of like um, sleepless nights. This is that card of just, you know, thinking, like having some type of anxiety about something. And it's just like, it keeps you up because it's just like, you're so... Uh, concerned you're so scared about how something's going to pan out perhaps the world card comes in with for you as well archangel michael so this is so much a um capricorn i can't help but just feel like you probably like a lot of shifts are probably i don't know it sounds like such a cop out of a word but you probably are experiencing a lot of transitions in your life a lot of stuff going on right now for you capricorn that's probably why like you have some anxiety going on in your head or some, something in your head of where it's just like you're just it's almost just like everything's just in overdrive now like your emotions are in overdrive like every, you're just feeling everything from in a much more severe or heavier degree than normal and I feel like it's because of your, like you're dealing with a bunch of chaos in your life. Anything that you already was in your life that was like bothering you before, you're really honing in on it now. And you're really, it just is like, it's almost just like <laughs> you are like, you just reached like your breaking point. And now that like you're pretty, you may have, some of you Capricorn probably felt like you reached, you already like, you hit your breaking point and now it's just like a spiral for you. But um hierophant two of cups shows to me you know what capricorn i dare i say some of you guys probably f haven't um like you feel disconnected i don't even want to well i will say spiritually disconnected but i don't even feel like it's just like a spiritual disconnect because i know not all of you capricorns are spiritually involved um you may just feel like you're not connected to reality you may feel like you're like a little bit of an outcast right now in the sense of where it's just like this is such isolated energy like you feel extremely isolated you feel like no one understands you you feel like it's almost like for some of you uh yeah some of you capricorns you just feel like everyone's out to get you and you only have yourself to um rely on you only can like count on yourself and it's almost like hmm I don't know. This three of swords really took a blow. Like some some type of pain. You really took a blow with something that really just uh, has you acting out in a way that's not your normal element, right? King of Coins does come in here. I want to pull some clarifiers as well for this Capricorn because it does seem to be like something something happened in your life that really kind of uh, impacted you more than you're aware of, probably. A Capricorn something really just was like a heavy blow to you and it's just like ever since then it's just like you haven't been able to like get back into balance or something uh let's see here knight of cups and three of cups here yeah again this is such an I don't know if you guys have experienced some type of rejection I don't know if there's like some type of like betrayal that happened um, where it's like something, maybe you thought something was going to pan out in such a way, Capricorn, and you were just so gung-ho about it, where you're just like, oh yeah, this project, like, it's impossible for this project not to pay out. This is impossible for it not to work out. It's impossible for, um, me to get into a fight with this person. Like, we just understand each other so well, right? You definitely had some starry eyes about this situation. And because it didn't pan out in the way that you were anticipating, that really took a blow to your ego, perhaps. That really, like, impacted you and really kind of, like, uh, uh, has you feeling in such a way where it's just Ten of Swords. Yeah, you kind of just feel uh, defeated. It really, because it's like you didn't, yeah, it's, it really just impacted, impacted you. You just feel, it's like, because the situation didn't pan out in the way that you thought, and now you're just like, oh, well, what is, like, what is life even worth living? Is it even worth me trying to do anything else anymore, right? You just feel, have this extremely defeated nature on this, and it gets you in your head, and that's probably what's put you at, like, a stalemate with something. You haven't continued walking down your path, um answering your calling because like you're just so hyper like so in your head being like oh i fell off that horse once what if it happens again like you don't want to get back on that horse anymore because you fell off of it once and so it's just like you're just in the state of being like yeah just defeated devil card coming in here yeah capricorn i am so sorry i can really tell like 
whatever the situation is, this devil card, it just caught you off guard. Like, I keep wanting to say Capricorn, you felt backstabbed, but I don't feel like... If it does involve a person, definitely where it's just like a sense of betrayal. But even outside of just like people, because again, I can, I can definitely see this as like a project of some sort, right? Um, maybe like you thought, like, let's just use myself as an example. I put out a terror video and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's impossible for me to not, like this terror video is going to do so well, right? Um, da, 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 da. Put it out. And I got lackluster results, right? And because of that, I worked so hard on it. I was so convinced it's like, oh, everyone's going to love this. And then no one did. Or I just didn't get the results that I thought it would. Because of that, it took such a blow to my ego or it just really hurt that ever since then, I wouldn't be, I wasn't, I can't get out of my head about it, right? I keep thinking about it. It's like, oh, this, uh, what's the point of me even recording videos anymore? Because like that one just didn't work out, right? I fell flat on my face. And so it's just like, you know, I just stopped making videos. And so that would be like what the, what it is that I need to overcome. The thing that I need to just like uh, release is just releasing the sense of uh, fear of that things are just going to continue panning out in such a way, right? Just letting go of fear, not allowing fear dictating choices in your life anymore, certain choices in your life. Such a long tangent from that, huh? Uh, <laughs> but now Capricorn, let's start getting into uh, what are the blessings coming towards you, Capricorn? Uh, what are the blessings that you can anticipate coming towards you or that are currently working towards coming towards you during this week, Capricorn? Now, just because it's tarot, it doesn't mean like you're going to receive a blessing at a specific time right on the dot on Monday, da 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 da. No, this is just all about like what is in the works, what is um, energetic works coming towards you, Capricorn. Let's see, let's see. We have coming in here the star card. Okay. So we pulled the Ten of Swords, the Star card, as well as the Two of Pentacles. So the blessings coming to you guys, you are coming out of that. Whatever that Ten of Swords moment is, like, yeah, you fell off that, like, continuing on just for simplicity's sake. Yeah, like, um, posted that terror video, right? And just like, you're over, I'm overcoming that anxiety being like, ah, there's no pur purpose, no point in me posting any more terror videos because it's just like, saw that last time I fell flat on my face, didn't get the results I wanted, right? I see you coming out of this, right? Two of Pentacles, you kind of have an honest conversation with yourself and being like, okay, like, you didn't like the, you didn't like falling flat on your face, right? Um, you didn't like experiencing that failure, that rejection. But you kind of like weigh out your things. You're like, well, would you rather experience something else? X. You don't want to experience X? Okay, well, would you, would you rather experience Y instead? And I feel like you kind of just put things in perspective. You're just like, you know what? Yeah, I fell flat on my face, but you know, it's still important for you to continue falling flat on your face while on your path. <laughs> you know, it's like, even if you still fall flat on your face, you're going forward and while you're falling in your face, falling flat on your face, on your path. That's all that matters, right? Even if you end up falling, you're still going forward, honey. The star card comes in where it's just like, you are just, it's that wish fulfillment card. You had it already before, right? It's that card is getting back on, back onto your path, answering to your true calling, right? Um, so with the tarot, it's just like, I go back and it's just like, you know what? Tarot is my calling. I'm meant to be, I'm meant to be doing tarot. So then I overcome that fear and I continue posting videos, right? So let's see, let's see a little bit more detail with this, right? Let's see what clarifiers we get for these cards. Mm, cards just fly out, my beautiful Capricorn. They just flew out, honey. <laughs> Give me a moment <laughs> as I pick up these cards. It's not for you. Let's see. So, mm. so we have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Chariot. Wow, honey. So it's like the moment, like, okay, you fell flat on your face before Capricorn from doing the, like, you know, you did that tarot video. But once you get back on that horse, honey, once you start posting again, it, these two Aces coming in together this is such a beautiful sign, right? This is such forward movement, especially Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. The creative thoughts, like your thoughts, your actions are being rewarded. You just have to go forward, right? These two cards are such going forward energies. It's like grabbing up at your wand, grabbing up at your sword and just going, you know, just like all hands on deck. Let's just go, honey. Let's just, let's just push through, right? You're just pushing through. 
and it's through this the chariot card comes in you start seeing some fast results so it's just like that first time yeah whatever um but then when you go about when you reapproach this same situation again maybe from a different avenue maybe from a different light different approach i do see <laughs> you know i see fast results with you i see a, something coming forward to you and just you know a lot being rewarded i guess more so for getting back onto that horse if that makes sense capricorn so i really do enjoy this this is such a energy of where it's just like if you persevere capricorn which i def definitely do see you doing you're going to not regret it at all you're going to be extremely happy and be like dang imagine if i just didn't do that terror like if i just quit doing tarot altogether and i just washed my hands clean but imagine if i just didn't give this a second shot imagine if i didn't give it the third or fourth fifth shot right i really see that coming out beautifully for you but now capricorn before we wrap up this reading let's see what your spirit guides have to say um in tarot this week for you capricorn let's see what your spirit guides have to say this week for you my beautiful capricorn so the first starting cards we have for you the tower card the nine of wands and the fool expect shifts expect some major changes capricorn if you're going to be your spirit guys, spirit guys are coming in to let you know that if you choose not to take action on this if you choose not to get back on that horse capricorn that you fell off of from before your spirit guides are going to put you in such a situation where you're they're going to force you to get back on that horse or put you in such a numb i guess they can't force you but they're going to make you certain things in your life happen in such a way where you kind of are forced to make a decision being like okay well like am i going to get back on this horse am i going to change horses like you you're going to have you're no longer going to be able to put something on the back burner anymore you're going to have to address that fear that you have from falling on that horse right you're going to be forced to address it essentially is what your spirit guides are trying to say and the clarifiers we have for this knight of pentacles the moon and the empress card really honing in um capricorn of where it's just like your spirit guides are not here to make you comfortable honey and your your spirit guides are coming in extremely strong capricorn and sh which shows to me like how invested they are in your life so you probably a lot of you capricorns are tapping into this reading you really probably have a pretty strong connection with your guides um and your guides can be ancestors and you know angels whatever um but with this it's like with this moon card coming in here like <laughs> it's one of those things is like you think you're right you, you think that you know how the story is going to be baby but the spirit guides is like they have a whole they have a plot twist for you honey empress card does come in as well it's like such a situation is like they're putting you out of your comfort zone but it's all in the name of love capricorn it's all in the name of love it's all in the name of growth for you um but it's just like you may not like how they set it up in such a way you know it's just like you know getting back on that horse if you make that choice to you know it's kind of like <laughs> it sounds so much like a parent uh capricorn where it's just like you know what i'm a, you're gonna clean this room one way or another but you if i have to be the one to make you clean your room you're not gonna like it compared to like if you just decided to clean your room for yourself without me without your parent being involved does that make sense capricorn so it's just like that room's gonna end up being cleaned regardless you're gonna be back on that horse regardless it's just a matter of like you know how is that gonna look you know <laughs> so um kind of be prepared for that capricorn but remind yourself that it's all again like in the name of love it's all in the name of growth for you it's all in the name of getting you back on track right with that star card the star card is such is the card of wish fulfillment if you look up the card the meaning of the star it is the w wish fulfillment um so capricorn truly like this is all in the name of your betterment you know and it's just kind of like it's like going into someone's room that's been in like a depressive rut for a few weeks and you just like go into their room you take their blackout curtains and you're just like oh welcome in some sunshine right it's just like enough of you feeling sorry for yourself honey we're gonna we're gonna open these blackout curtains and we're going to allow some vitamin d to get into this room honey um you just kind of very much so that armadillo spirit number three comes in for you guys uh, write that down capricorn to look up for numerology later but set set healthy boundaries set healthy boundaries um and i feel like this would be more so just with yourself developing better healthier habits um for yourself you know get yourself on a routine capricorn maybe i feel like that would really be helpful for you um let's see final card 
Queen of Pentacles, yeah, things are going to work out for you, Capricorn. You know, you may not, you know, I'm hopefully this reading comes in where it's just like, you feel like you're not ready. You feel like you're never going to get back on that horse again, but you will. You will, and you'll be extremely happy that you did. You'll be extremely the happy that you did, and the things that are happening in your life right now that you may feel like is inconveniencing you, down the road, you're going to realize how it's all for your betterment. may not make sense right now, but honey, but it will eventually. So, uh, yeah, Capricorn, that's the tarot cards that I have for you this week for your weekly general reading. If you did enjoy this reading, Capricorn, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. And then be sure to share my tarot reading videos with a friend of yours, Capricorn, that you think might be into my tarot messages. Until next time, though, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.